Hello, David here, and the project for today is a review of the KitchenAid mixer. This is the larger model that uses a five and a half quart bowl. Not to be confused with the one that uses a four and a half quart bowl that articulates at the head up here. Rather than having a tilt up head, this has a two arms that hold up the bowl and this this lifts and lowers to get the bowl into the mixing paddles. Model number is KSM55 SJX VB. Weighs about 23 pounds. It's 16 and a half inches high. The base is 10 inches wide and 14 and a half inches deep from front to back. And it's so big I could hardly fit it in the frame of the camera. It's got 10 speeds, 0, 1 half, and then uh, in equal increments from 1 up to 10. Instructions say when mixing dough never exceed speed number 2. This is a lever that rises, raises the bowl. Got a little power takeoff here so you could put optional accessories on it for slicing noodles, grinding grain or coffee, uh, grinding meat, stuffing sausage, and whatever else you want to do. I don't plan on doing a lot of that. I got this mostly for mixing flour. And this is made in the USA since 1919. How about that? So I bought the second hand. It doesn't look like it had much use, but it didn't come with a manual, so I downloaded this manual online. It's about 70 pages. It's got uh, information of warranty. It's got a bunch of recipes in the back for bread and pizza, and also tells you how to use this thing. Yeah, these are the optional attachments. Also mentions that uh, you can use your old recipes, but the uh, plan of action is a little bit different with this. When you make bread, usually you throw all your ingredients together and start mixing it. With this, they recommend putting all the liquid ingredients and the yeast in the bowl first, uh, sugar, and then uh, maybe a cup of flour and then start mixing with the dough hook and then you start adding flour in increments of a half a cup at a time as it starts blending together. These are the accessories that came with the unit. There's two bowls, four and a half quart and five and a half quart. One of these uh, stirring paddles, a uh, rubberized spoon, Got a small whisk, large whisk, and a dough hook. I'm dying to try this thing out, so let's make some bread. These uh, little tabs go over these pins, and there's a little uh, little nib on there that, that goes into the hole on that tab. That's in place. Put the dough hook in. Well, this thing's never been used. Gotta take that little label off of there. That just tells you not to run it faster than speed two. I'm going to add the ingredients. Okay, I got everything in the bowl except for the flour. I got a little bit of flour.
Kind of goes around like the tilt-a-whirl. It's making me dizzy. All right, it's been 10 minutes. And it looks perfect. Hey, if you're elderly or have arthritis, one of these machines is great. I'm gonna end the video here. I'm gonna let the, uh, the dough ball rise for an hour in a warm oven with the oven turned off, of course. Just warm it up prematurely a little bit. And uh, that's gonna be it. I want to thank you guys and gals for watching. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and ring that bell for more great videos from David GPO. Yeah, I just braided that dough. I think that's going to come out nice. Gave them an hour and a half to rise and sprinkled some spices on them. I think they came out pretty nice. Thanks for watching.